Hello and welcome to Britbox React with me, BP2, and as you may have noticed, a new addition to the channel, Mrs. BP2. Uh, say hello to the um, viewers. Hello. Welcome. Uh, as you see, we got the memo about uh, wearing the same kit on the screen, so who wears it well in the comments? Already I know where that one's going to go. It wasn't um, meant to be like this. It wasn't meant to be like this. So. Why, why BP2 and Mrs. BP2? Well, as we've said before, if you know us on the channel, sometimes um, myself and BP1 have different schedules, so we can't always get together and record. So uh, I tried doing some on my own, didn't feel quite so comfortable, but it's lovely having somebody next to me, and who lovelier than Mrs. BP2? There's nice always smile. Buddy. Oh, there is always Buzzy <laughs> down there as well, if you're, again, regular to the channel. So what we're here for, we are here to um, react to uh, mm. This band, Limp Biscuit. Why have I picked Limp Biscuit? Well, I was watching um, Woodstock '99 documentary a couple of nights ago. You may remember. Uh, I was got lots of oohs and ahs coming out. Uh, cool, what a shambles that was. Um, if any of you uh, watching were at Woodstock '99, please put in the comments uh, how uh, mm -hmm. how it went, and because yeah. um, it looked pretty chaos, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Um, but Limp Biscuit were on the headlines, along with Corn, who we would also react to. Um, Mrs. BB2 has a similar sort of musical taste to me, apart from ABBA, who she loves. R&B. I love. I, I don't quite love so much, although we have done ABBA on the channel, uh, if as you may recall. So, um, yeah, Woodstock 99 turned into a complete mm. nightmare. Um, but Limp Biscuit were on there, and Fred Durst. Um, and I thought, well, I've seen the, the live one at Woodstock, but I've never seen the video of it. So we're going to react to that. Um, Limp Biscuit, you mm. know of them? Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, can you name any of their songs? No. <laughs> Good. All right. So we're going to go to Limp Biscuit Break Stuff, which is the one that they played, uh, which really they shouldn't have played at Woodstock 99 because the crowd were already raucous after Corn were on. Mm. They were already ripping down hoardings and, and um, mosh pit was going mental. Somehow a hoarding made its way to the front of the stage and um, Fred decided that he was going to jump on that as well and sort of That's crowd not the surf naked around. One. Huh? The naked one. He wasn't no, naked. No, that was, that, was, oh. um, <laughs> that was Red Hot Chili Peppers oh. and Flea playing bass with no clothes on. I mean, it was mental. Anyway, here we go. Limp Biscuit, American rock rap band from Jacksonville, Florida, uh, uh, lead vocalist Fred Durst. Uh, they formed in 1994, became popular playing in Jacksonville underground music scene mm -hmm. in the late 90s, signed to Flip Records, um, released the band's debut album, Three Dollar Bill, Y'all. Um, so here we go. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is, everybody sucks. It's just one of those days. It's all about the he says, she says, fools. Is that Snoop? Slip, or you'll be leaving with a fat lip. It's all about the he says, she says, fools. Yeah, yeah. I think you better quit talking that. It's just one of those days. Feeling like a freight train. First one to complain. Leaves with the blood stain. Damn right, I'm a maniac. You better watch your back. Cause I'm fucking up your program. Was that Eminem? Are they M &M. looking M &M. like he's... Yeah, oh, it's Eminem. Was I'm it sure. really? I'm sure that's Eminem and Snoop Dogg. You just Let's go back to Eminem. I thought it was Eminem, but then it didn't... It's one of those days. It's all about the he says, she says. Well, now that is that Jay Z? No, no, it's not. I think you better quit. That's the guitarist. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a looky likey, it isn't it? He is a very good looky like. I think so. Anyway, so yeah. uh, thoughts so far? Good, love it. All right, you, you well, like not it? love it, not oh, love it, not <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's good. It's, yeah, it's, it's great beat. Uh, well, I like the beat, and I like the way that you know they're, they're putting the wrapping in around mm, it as definitely. well. Um, as I say, I mean, obviously, it's a bit of a get up and raucous song. So when they played this at Woodstock '99, which was already like a tinderbox mm. anyway, just waiting for the match to be dropped in, I think this kicked it off. Uh, and then the following mm. night was even worse. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's 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 all right. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Will it go on your sort of playlist. running list, playlist, no, workout we'll list? No. No, all right. Not my workout list, no. <laughs> Not even on your workout list. Okay. Um, what else have I got? Good down? vibe. Very good vibe. Good, good vibe. Okay. Uh, I've run out of things that I've written down here. So, should we carry on? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. You can see we haven't practiced any of this. That's me. Cool. Cool. Wow. That's definitely the You want to turn it right up. Yeah, you, you yeah, want to it, go it is kind of, full you, pelt. You want to sort of go full pelt with it, rock it right up. Even though it might not be your sort of cup of tea, oh, it's kind of, it's I could rock out to it. Yeah. So you're feeling a bit more than yeah. you were before if now. Yeah, if I was so in the car, it'd be headbanging. It, it would be headbanging. <laughs> All right, so uh, as I say, uh, I'm sure that one was the lead singer of Corn, and I only really know that because I watched a Woodstock thing in mm. Corn were on before them. He was rocking out, I think it was a kilt and rolling around the floor a lot. Yeah. I mean, the crowd were already sort of well hyped up when Corn come on, then Limp Biscuit, um, and then, like I say, right at the end, I think it was Red Hot Chili Peppers sort of closed the set, uh, and then it was Chaos, Anarchy. Um, so you're enjoying it now. Mm. You're feeling yeah. it more as we're going along. Definitely. So, yeah. I mean, you know, you can talk, obviously, it's easy, better if we we talk when we stop the music because then we can hear you, okay, your lovely okay. dulcet tones. But, yeah, if you've got anything to say, you know, put your hands up. Um, all right, all right, let's crack it on. I mean, there's not a lot of lyrics in it. So this was in skates, skateboarding. When you skateboard, yeah. type of skateboarding during the sort of yeah. skateboard near. I mean, yeah, this is. Sure. I think they were uh, they were massive during yeah. the sort of nineties, late nineties. So all that skater scene was was back in your vans and all that were, were, were on. Yeah. I mean, they've done a great job of sort of fusing metal with hip hop mm. i mean you saw the djs there another one that did that that i did on the channel or we've done on the channel slipknot they had a similar thing dj on the record decks um so yeah i mean you know as i said there's not a ton of lyrics in it so again easy to follow along to mm. yeah uh, so there is that side of it beat. you can get involved um so okay so we'll finish it up Okay, mm. Um So on the channel, if you know us on the channel, you can move around. 
It's okay. Don't worry I'm... about moving. In and out of shot. We're just getting used to this different setup because when me and BP1 do it, we've got two different cameras. This is one camera on the two of us and it's kind of a bit squished in because uh, everything's a bit close. So, um, Limp Biscuit. Mm, I will listen to them again. You would listen to them again. Okay, Definitely. obviously if that it's was cool. um, uh, the British version, it'd be Limp Biscuit. Because mm -hmm. uh, that's how we spell it. Uh, slight, slight different variation on the spelling there. So you enjoyed that as yes. sort of first time reacting. I mean, you've seen how you you've do seen it. me on the screen, obviously. Cup of tea. Doing it. Cup of tea. Um, all right. Yeah. So, okay. I want to say. Yep. Seven. I like eight because I really liked it. Okay. <laughs> Surprisingly. So the way that we how's kind your of scoring goes. We we can't, yeah all right the Mine's way that we really kind of score it is you know if if it's something that you you never want to hear again you know, we haven't no. given anything much less than a six seven is kind of all right but not really feeling it eight oh. I'd listen to it again okay nine really listen to it again and then sort of ten out of ten is yeah okay I mean, I'm impressed so nine are you gone nine now you gone from seven to nine well you said nine you may listen to it again I definitely listen to that again eight. I'd listen to it again. Nine, it would be on my playlist. Okay. Ten, I'd eight, listen to then. it all day. So you can go 8.3s, 8 8.4s. Okay, 8.5. I'm not trying to sway you in any way at all here. 8.5. Eight, so we've got 7, 9, 8.5. I think that's, Sorry. that's okay. I mean, uh, for me, I enjoyed it. I mean, not a lot of lyrics in there, but for just to hear it, bang it, put it on. Yeah, I'd, I'll agree with you. So we go uh, 8.5 up mm. there for Limp Biscuit. Did you enjoy that? Yes. I did. Yes? Yeah. Uh, all right. So if you out there, our regular viewers, enjoyed that, something a bit different, the uh, glamorous Mrs. BP2, um, ever glamorous, my dear. Um, if you'd like to see her again in the comments, uh, if you don't want to see her again, tough, because she's <laughs> going to be on the screen on the channel anyway uh adds a bit of glamour um and yeah we'll we'll try and sort of do stuff a bit more obscure a bit more off the beaten track with mrs bp2 than i do with bp1 mm. um just yeah see how it goes so uh what do we do all that's left to say is it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him there you go she knows the score adios <laughs> 20th century boy